Okay. <laughs> Here's a story I haven't thought about in quite some time. Um, this is positive problem solving in a weird way. And I'm just going to get into it. I was waiting on tables in Manhattan, okay? I was working at a job where it was a really big open room. It was across from Lincoln Center. It was a place called The Saloon. This was 1984, 85? Maybe it was, yeah, something like that. And the place was so big that they had their gimmick. Their gimmick, the, by the way, the, the building doesn't exist anymore. It was torn down and rebuilt into a new fancy skyscraper. But back then, that ground floor uh, was large, and the gimmick of the saloon was roller skating waiters, if you could. And I could, because I had done a lot of disco roller skating in the late 70s and early 80s, okay? And I actually had done some tournaments. I was in some competitions with roller skating with partners and all that stuff. I knew how to roller skate. It was my first waiting on tables job. I couldn't wait on tables, but I could keep my balance, which was better than a shitload of other people who were wiping out all over the place for their interview. <laughs> Your interview for a job involved you getting on the skates, having a tray full of glassware from the bar, and you had to skate past the bar, down a set of stairs, out a pair of doors to the outdoor cafe, and a lot of people hurt themselves. <laughs> I did not. I knew how to do that, so I got the job. Good. There we are. There's the setting. Now, moving on to the fun, positive problem solving. New York City, like many places, the lower floor downstairs has the prep kitchen. And the prep kitchen is in this steamy, sweaty um, place where you prep all the food, you prep all the broth, you prep the, you know, cooked vegetables and stuff. And it's... Um, it's in the nether regions of the building, and maybe I don't need to let you know, but the nether regions of New York City buildings are places where there are lots of cockroaches. As a matter of fact, you don't like to call them cockroaches, you like to call them water bugs because they're really big. They can carry off rats, you know? So the water bugs, cockroaches, live down there, and they're big. Sometimes they get upstairs. An errant water bug will find its way up onto the restaurant serving floor. No one wants one of those to be seen by a customer. So we had to keep an eye out for them, and we did our best to keep that eye out, and I was inside working toward the front windows and there was a cockroach. Oh, it was big and it was under a table. A pair, a man and woman were dining and that cockroach was down underneath the center of, you know, center of the table where the, the table stand is. And it wasn't moving. So we noticed this and we had to figure out how to get that cockroach, and I came up with an idea. <laughs> I got two other roller skating waiters, and I said, okay, here's the plan. You take a fork. You take, uh, you're in the, you know, number one has a fork or some kind of utensil. Number two, it doesn't have anything, and number th and that'll be me. And number three has a um, has has a broom and a little dustpan that goes down to the ground, and it's going to be number one. You skate by, and I follow on your heels, and you throw the fork underneath that table. 
I will come by, I will run over the cockroach when it scampers out, and the person behind me, number three, comes up and immediately just scoops the cockroach carcass into the sweep, you know, the, the, the sweeper and, and, and the thing. That's, that's our plan. <laughs> so I didn't tell a boss, I didn't tell anybody else, I just said, you want to try something? And those two were good enough at this stuff so that I knew that I could trust them with, with maneuvering around. And we got to the other side of the place and I say, okay, ready? Give each other enough room so that we don't trip over each other because we can really wipe out. Number one, skated by, threw the fork under, scared the cockroach out from under the table. I came by and ran over the thing and flattened that baby. And then the person behind me, she came by with the broom and mop and went and continued. And the three of us saved the panic of the place. And it worked like clockwork. It was this just poetry in motion of a perfect team and we high-fived each other and we went and got a you know got a drink after work at the bar and we laughed our asses off about the disgusting funny thing that we just took for granted as you know this is a plan this is how hardened you know non-rookies in the waiting on tables world of New York City deal with the unseemly problems that the customer never needs to know about. <laughs> I wanted to let you know, I haven't thought about, I haven't told this story in years. There you go. Enjoy.